Moonlight Sardines. The painting shows the sardines in the net. To find the fish, I had a sonar fitted, both on the Penrose and the Prevail. I couldn't afford to buy one, as they cost about £7,000. So I hired and leased it for, would have been seven years, and that would have costed about £10,000. But it was worth it, as the sonar looks all around the boat, and not just straight down, like most fish. You see those fish in that net, but the ordinary sonar wouldn't, because they are to one side of us. But the sonar was able to see actually fish in the net, or about 1,200 metres away, and on occasions even more than that, if you know what you're listening for, because the sonar works by sound waves and putting it onto a screen so it can be understood. The noise of the pulsating ping with the hush to what it is like on those films when you watch the television when there's a submarine and a ship on above looking for it. It is possible to see the circle of the net on the screen and the fish moving in it. It can look at any angle through 360 degrees or any section independently. For ring netting it is a must, but the fish can get shy if it is used for too long. The goals would also be so many and so close that they would often hit you with their wings and bump right into your chest and crash on the deck and get tangled in the net. You could catch hold of a pair of orange legs from the sky as easy as taking pegs off the washing line.